Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 5 as well as the other DC TV Arrowverse shows because this relates to all of them, I guess. So they've released like a new little promo thing uh, for the show, so let's watch it right now. Now this was from like a Spanish Twitter account, I think. Uh, it was from a Twitter account, I don't know if that was Spanish or not. Uh, don't judge me if that is incorrect, but I will link the source in the description down below if you like for some reason want to go check it out. Now that promo trailer sort of thing was obviously nothing new, but was just something, you know, to hype up the return of the shows, which is now less than eight weeks away, I think. I'm pretty sure that's right. So they are getting close and creeping up and it shouldn't be too long until we get some, you know, new official photos and even more trailers or just little promo pieces. I wouldn't expect any new trailers until maybe the, the month point leading up to their returns, but we could get like an awesome surprise and they could drop a trailer or two for some of the shows fairly soon, or even do like a big DC TV mashup trailer for all the shows with new footage, which they have done in the past leading up to previous seasons, but usually a bit closer to the return dates, as I was saying in that, you know, roughly like month lead up. But for those that didn't know, DC TV will be returning on Tuesday, October 9th with both The Flash and Black Lightning. And then the next week we will have the uh, the other shows rolling back in with Supergirl moving to Sundays and Arrow moving to Mondays. So that will be something that we will, you know, have to get used to, I guess, over the first, you know, opening few weeks. So in this video, we will just go over some stuff that you may or may not know about the shows and what's going on with them this season. But of course, before that, be sure to let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions, like what show are you looking forward to the most out of uh, the new Arrowverse seasons and stuff like that, and uh, what parts of those seasons as well are you looking forward to? Just let me know in the comments. And of course, it would be much appreciated if you could drop a like uh, to show your support and subscribe to the channel if you're new. So of course, let's start with The Flash. So we know some little things about this season, such as Nora, Ralph, and of course Cecile, all coming back as regulars this season, so getting upgraded. Barry's wearing the season one suit as a meme in the trailer, and then there's the flash ring that's finally showing up, just a tad late though. And then of course we had the breaking news over the past day or so around that new suit of Barry's for season five that was leaked on 4chan. So obviously I just wanted to interlude a bit here and do some IRL stuff, just quickly on the whole Grand Gustin and uh, you know, the new Flash suit. Now I'm not going to put it in this video because my video on it got blocked by Warner Brothers and Sam, which is awesome because at this time I'm the only one who got my video blocked, which is great. Uh, sick on Warner Brothers. But anyway, obviously Grand Gustin got uh, attacked for like, it was like some body shaming stuff. Now personally, I didn't see a lot of it because I was asleep during the whole drama thing. However, a lot of it, from what I've heard, came from Facebook, which is a toxic wasteland anyway. Like, who uses Facebook nowadays anyway? It's a dead website. Well, yeah, it's dead. Um, but, you know, if you were one of the people that attacked him, look, it's not cool. I can understand, like, you just thinking that maybe he doesn't look good for it, but it, I thought it was just out of place attacking him, like, the way, in the way that some people did. Now, I think, in some cases, some people's comments were taken out of hand and made to look much worse than they were. Grant's a lanky dude. He always has been. There's lots of people that are lanky. But I think just in... The way in which some people attacked him, I thought was unneeded for. And obviously that suit was, uh, it wasn't the final stage. Now, obviously I think it's best to just wait until you actually see a final product before you start starting like World War Three over a goddamn uh, suit in a comic book TV show. Um, but yeah, like as I said, I, don't think, I think it was out of hand and unnecessary uh, what some people, and like the lengths that they went to in regards to, you know, their dislike of the suit and how they felt they wanted to uh, display that, uh, uh, their thoughts and stuff like that. But I think it's best if we just wait. Hopefully we get an official release of that suit sooner rather than later, just to sort of like calm the waters. But the fact that Grant felt personally attacked, I thought was out of hand and unnecessary. And hopefully he doesn't feel the need to maybe, you know, disappear from social media due to it. We have some other things for The Flash, such as like a new group of rogues showing up, the 100th episode, which is going to be amazing, I'm sure, which is also serving as the mid-season finale for this season. And then we also have the villain of Cicada, but that is all for other videos and stuff like that. But now let's move over 
to those time-traveling rascals known as the Legends of Tomorrow. So Legends in Season 3 improved upon the already improved Season 2 in comparison to its first season, so going by that, you would think that Season 4 would be on that track as well. With Bebo on their side, you would have to think that the Legends will once again achieve what they set out to stop, which once again, funnily enough, was caused by them after they released Malice from his prison, and in turn released various magical and mystical fugitives, which as we saw in the trailer for Season 4 from Comic-Con, includes unicorns. Of course, we also have John Constantine, our favourite demonologist, joining the Legends full-time for this season, which does add a bit of darkness to the show, but also not be out of the blue, as it will be relevant to what is going on within the show this season. But of course, we want more Bebo, so give us Bebo! Give us Bebo! Give us Bebo! Now let's get on to Arrow. So Arrow will start the season off with Oliver in quite a weird position, and I guess that puts us, the viewers, in that weird position as well. And that is, of course, due to the fact that he is in prison. So right off the bat, we are going to be seeing some different type of show than we are used to with Arrow. Oliver won't be instructing and leading the takedown of crime within Star City. Instead, we will be stuck with, uh, <sighs> Dinah and Renee. But of course, we do have Roy Harper coming back with all of those flips to help with what's going down this season. Arrow is meant to be a lot darker this season in comparison to some of its uh, more recent seasons. Apparently, according to people on the show, like the cast and the showrunners and stuff, it will be very similar to the tone of season one and arguably season two as well, which personally I'm excited for. Obviously, we do have that copycat archer or the copycat green arrow, whatever you want to call them, who I'm sure will be a contributor to that change in tone. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And then finally, we have Supergirl. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Uh, okay, Peter, but I, I, th I just thought it would be a bit unfair if I didn't talk about Supergirl after talking about the others. Like, don't you agree? You know how much I hate being told what to do. Well, Peter, mate, I've got, I've got to do it, otherwise I'm going to get abused in the comments. So Supergirl will have the Red Daughter storyline playing out, which will be interesting. And we also have Manchester Black and Agent Liberty showing up. Obviously, we had that meme of a suit show up from set photos that was revealed in the trailer for Season 4 from Comic-Con. They had to start filming this season on Episode 4, I think it was, due to Melissa Benoist being on Broadway. So Bebo knows how that will turn out. But Supergirl should be the show that gets another trailer first, as their Comic-Con trailer, like, showed nothing. It was actually such a waste of a trailer. And we could also get a Legends one earlier, than the others as well due to their Comic Con trailer not being as filled as say the Arrow and Flash ones were. Now already I know people are going, Pagey, you forgot Black Lightning, are you a racist? And the answer is no, just that they literally just showed nothing. Like their trailer was a recap of season one and we really don't know much. But as soon as we get some stuff on Black Lightning, I'll try my best to include it in a video. Just that they're literally hanging us out dry, out to dry. So uh, people behind Black Lightning, throw us a goddamn bone. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'll be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show your support. Hopefully you enjoyed this style of video. I'm trying to change things up a bit. You know, leave your criticisms in the comment section down below. I'm expecting some comments saying, Paige, you're not funny. But you know what? Let's go with the flow. But yeah, just leave your opinions down there. And of course, if you are uh, new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.